Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have some big news. Uh, Inquisitor Warhammer 40,000 Inquisitor Marta has now officially announced they will be going live on February the 10th for their pre-alpha. So their pre-alpha will be going live on February the 10th. There's an article over on PC Gamer which I will link in the description if you want to go and read it for yourself. But it basically states that the founder packages will begin at $40 just like this reminds me of EC, where you had a base pack of $40, uh, which will include the full game at release and access to free content updates. Uh, but there's also going to be three other tiers, uh, which will come with various digital, digi digital and physical bonus goodies. Now, for me, seeing this, uh, I am a bit wary because I was burnt by Eternal Crusade. I got like the biggest pack of Eternal Crusade, and the game didn't turn out how it was supposed to turn out. But I've been following this game very, very closely, and the uh, the feedback around its other games, like its uh, uh, what's it called, Van Helsing games, has been very, very positive within the action RPG community. So I think these chaps may pull this off, and this may be the star of the year for Warhammer 40,000 games. But I'll I'll just hang on the fence just for now, since I did get burnt last time, so I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. But I am kind of interested to see what the various digital and physical bonus goodies are you get for the upper tiers. I remember when Warhammer Online did their collector's edition and we got an awesome little orc model. I forgot what the war boss was called now, but he had a, I think it was like a goblin on his shoulder and stuff and I had that with my uh, fantasy army back in the day and that was uh, really, really good. So if they start to do like maybe a, a, a limited edition Inquisitor model or maybe like a, a statue or something for your desk, I, I may be drawn into the void of buying uh, that pack. So the actual alpha itself is not going to be on Steam Early Access. I actually thought it would be something like Steam Early Access where you uh, just like what that Age of Conan game that's just come out, something like that, but it's not. Uh, basically, uh, it says in the article that N Neocore has decided to opt out for its own internal alpha release for the Inquisitor Marta. Uh, the quote here, uh, backing up, says, The main goal of the founding is to invite people who already know more or less what they're getting involved with. It's all about transparency. It is for players who are who are happy to give us feedback, really into action RPGs and Warhammer 40k. So yeah. It's got to be, it won't be on Steam. I think it will work something like you go to their website, you buy the game, you'll probably get a link in an email or something you've signed up with, and from that uh, you'll download and you'll play the alpha, and then you can go on their forums and give feedback, report bugs, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, uh, that, this is what it's going to be. So, uh, February the 10th, chaps, uh, it's going to start off at $40, uh, for, yeah, $40 for founder packs. And we'll go on from there. So Alpha is no nearly upon us. So I I can see the game coming out within what the the next four months maybe. So next four months will really have like the full proper game. I know they've started to release some uh, digital books, uh, free books by the way, on Black Library. You should go and check them out. I'm actually going to do a series dedicated to them books uh, quite soon. I'm just waiting for the last one to be released so I can get them all together and uh, do some lore behind the game, so if you're interested in that, make sure you look out for that. And, uh, yeah, so this is it. It was only a, basically a small video, just to give some information about Inquisitor Mata. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all soon, and uh, have a good day. See you now. Bye-bye.